GNS3 have released version 2.0 of the GNS3 software. This is now the current stable release of GNS3 and is the recommended version that you should be using. You can now download it from the GNS3 website and is the recommended release of GNS3 in most situations. This is a major milestone for GNS3 and is probably the biggest release in the last 10 years. This version brings a new architecture to GNS3 which allows the GNS3 developers to add new features and provides a solid foundation for future development. Major new features of 2.0 include Save As You Go, Smart Packet Capture, VPCS clouds and switch templates, a new cloud node, a new NAT node, and much, much more. You can find out what's new in GNS3 by looking at the GNS3 documentation and also looking at some of the videos that I've posted on YouTube. Now there's an important note with regards to upgrading. Don't upgrade if you're working on something important like a certification or something else. There is no rollback possible from version 2.0 to older versions of GNS3. Now to upgrade from a previous release of GNS3, have a look at the document, Upgrade to GNS3 2.0, available in the GNS3 documentation. Again, there is no rollback. Back up all your projects, settings, and snapshot the GNS3 VM before you upgrade. If you still have projects created in 0.8.x, open them with a version 1.x version of GNS3 before migrating to version 2.0. There is no direct conversion from 0.8 to 2.0. Again, don't upgrade if you're in the middle of something important. Huge effort has been put into testing version 2.0 of GNS3 but it's not possible to test all environments, scenarios, images, and so forth. In this example, I'm using GNS3 on a Mac. I've got both the GNS3 GUI as well as the GNS3 VM installed and running. In this example, I'm using GNS3 version 2.0.0 beta 3. The upgrade process, however, is exactly the same if you're using GNS3 1.5. So in the documentation for Mac OS, we're told that we need to close GNS3, back up our projects, download version 2.0 from the website, and then install it over the current release. We don't need to uninstall previous versions, and the upgrade process is shown in this document once again. But I'm gonna demonstrate the upgrade process through these videos. So firstly, quit GNS3. The upgrade process for the GUI is separate to the GNS3 VM. So I'll demonstrate firstly how to upgrade the GUI and then I'll show you how to upgrade the GNS3 VM. So I've closed GNS3, I've already backed up all my projects. So I'm gonna download version two from the GNS3 website. So to download the software, go to gns3.com, click free download, log in with your username and password and click login and continue. We need to download the GUI for a Mac. So click download, the software is automatically downloaded. If it was a new installation, we would download the GNS3 VM but in this case, we're gonna upgrade the GNS3 VM directly from within the VM. So I'm not gonna download the GNS3 VM. I've only downloaded the GUI. So I'll open that in Finder. So here's the DMG file that was downloaded from the GNS3 website. I'm gonna double click on the file and then drag it to Applications. In this example, I've already got GNS3 installed. So I'm asked, do I want to replace the file? 
And the answer is yes. So I'm going to click replace to replace the GNS3 file in applications. Now, before I start GNS3, I'm going to upgrade the GNS3 VM. The GNS3 VM needs to be running the same version of software as the GUI. So I need to upgrade this first. So in the GNS3 VM, press enter for OK, and then go down to version and see if a version 2.0 is available as the current release. In the documentation on the GNS3 website, we told that we should select OK and then choose a version and then select 2.0 as the current stable release. But we also told that the text may be different. So we may need to run the upgrade from the previous menu. So I'm gonna cancel this and go to upgrade. Now you should have a snapshot before you do an upgrade. I already have a working beta snapshot. So I'm gonna select yes to continue to upgrade the GNS3 VM. Now this is a simple process. You just wait for the upgrade to complete. It's important again that you have a snapshot in place in case something goes wrong here. You always want that snapshot so that you can revert to it if you have problems. I'm gonna speed up the video at this point so that you don't have to wait for this upgrade process to complete. But essentially all you do is wait for GNS3 to be upgraded. So wait till you see reboot in five seconds. That means that the GNS3 VM has been upgraded. The GNS3 VM will now automatically reboot. So there you go. As you can see, we are now using version 2.0.0 of GNS3. So now I can start up the GNS3 GUI. I can double click applications to open the applications folder and then double click on GNS3 to run GNS3. Notice we told that the application cannot be run because it's from an unidentified developer. We didn't download GNS3 from the Apple App Store. We downloaded it directly from GNS3. So I need to right click and then click open to run the software. So I'm gonna click open to run it. Now we told that we need to set root permissions. I'm gonna say yes to set the permissions and put in my password. GNS3 is now ready to run. I'll select a previously created project called subnet one. That's automatically loaded. It requires the GNS3 VM to run. So in this example, the GUI is contacting the GNS3 VM and makes sure that it's available, which it is at this point. So the network can be loaded and I can start up all the devices in my network. And as an example, I can open up a console to my first Ubuntu computer and type ifconfig eth0 to see the configuration of that device. It was previously configured with that IP address. And I could, as an example, look at the console of one of the routers. So here's router one, show IP interface brief. Shows me that the configuration of the device has been restored. So at this point, when I click on GNS3 about GNS3, you can see I'm now using version 2.0.0 of the GNS3 GUI, and my VM is also running version 2.0.0. So that's the process to upgrade from a previous release of GNS3 to version 2.0. This process applies, for example, to version 1.5 
and beta and release candidates of version 2.0. I want to wish you all the best with your GNS3 journeys. If you found this video useful, please like it and please make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.